I know. Wait, do you have ruler? A ruler? <laughs> really? Get your munchies on because you're watching Taste Buds. So today we're going to be heading uh, to this diner yeah. and we're going to be trying out this very Chinese style burger. Okay, I know a lot about Chinese stuff but I have no mm -hmm. idea what Chinese burger is. But well, you'll find out. Yeah, let's go. This is Mei Chow, owner of the newly opened Little Bao Diner, Canadian-born, US-educated and Hong Kong-based chef. She's a self-taught chef, was voted Asia's best female chef in 2017. She opened her first Little Bao on Stoughton Street in Hong Kong in 2013. It's our version of a Chinese burger. So the bun wise, we use a steamed bun, we make it in-house and, and first we have to uh, uh, steam up the buns, but then we also griddle it like a burger. So we use butter and then we griddle it. And then we make all our house-made pickles. So for the pork belly, there's a pickled cucumber that we make, there's a sesame mayo that we make, and then we slow cook the pork belly for 12 hours and then we pan fry it with a five spice soy. And then on top, there's like a shiso leek, pickled red onion salad, and then hoisin sauce ketchup. Ten years ago, fusion food is something that was not as well made as it is today. Mm -hmm. I think now, me growing up in Hong Kong as well as in the U.S., we want to understand like what makes a bao so special, and then we understand that, and then we think about what makes a burger so special. Why do you love a burger? We don't want to lose either context. So I think that's that's our goal when we do little bao is to have that. Uh, the balance of not losing the integrity of what it comes from. Now this is time for Good Bud, Bad Bud. One of us has to say all good things and one all the bad. The criteria is that we are looking at Instagram ability, aroma, taste and texture. And there's one thing that may sticks by and what is that? Is that no bow cutting? No bow cutting. With a knife. Yeah, so they basically just don't have knives here. So, but yeah, how do we do this? Well, we have to share the bow. He's going to attempt to cut it. We're gonna try this now. Okay, so the bow was super colorful and that's what I really liked about it. They had colors like green and purple and then there was the, pool, uh, the uh, pork belly, which was nice and brown, caramelized. I think it's a bit boring if you take a top shot from it. It's just a white bun. Why well, I wish they put a logo, like that logo on the bun like this. Like heated. Like a, yeah, logo. heated, like yeah. a stamp thing. Like a stamp. That would be better. That would be better. I think the bao smell pretty um, fresh when you opened it. Um, you could actually smell like, you know when like a dim sum comes on your table and you get those, um, like the char siu baos, you know that like steamy oh, yeah. smell? Yeah, that's what, that's the kind of smell that I got from it. For me, I think the aroma is not strong enough. I mean, it's a good aroma, but when I just, when the bun is served on the table, I can't smell it until I put it very close to my nose, you know? Uh -huh. I really like the softness of the, 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 the yeah, like the bao, and then yeah. you get the meat inside, which was like nice and good, and then the crunchy leaves chewy, chewy. and the pickles, yeah, it was like a perfect combination of something soft and crispy and juicy inside. So. Well, I just want to point out that uh, the dressing was a bit too much, and then when I ate it, this all over the place. So maybe less sauce, I think. Okay, overall, I really love the taste of the bao. Like, I love classic baos. And what I really liked about it was the crispiness of the uh, pork belly. What about you? Well, I can't think of any, but... Um... Okay, if you had to think of one thing one to thing. say, 
bad about it. Okay. Just is, is a little bit too sweet in the aftertaste. Um, a little bit. It's, it's, it's a like, tiny bit, yeah. Yeah, but it's just personal preference again. And I wish there were more flavor of, uh, in the bun, like the white bun. Okay. Just a little bit more flavor. Because I... Hmm. This is a really good bun that we've tasted just now, yeah? I love that I'm still coming back again. Yeah, actually I like it very much. So don't forget to subscribe us on Facebook, YouTube and, and Instagram. Yeah, see ya! Yeah.